Hey everybody, my name is Justin and welcome to Iron Matzah Cooking Show. So this is pretty much the staple of what a Jew eats for Passover. Notice how it's just, it's freedom. It tastes like freedom, they say, but it looks like uh, it's not really much. So we're going to uh, spice that up a bit today. Originally, when I thought of let's do matzo nachos, I thought, well, let's just do generic nachos and then replace the tortilla chips with matzo. Simple. But then I figured, you know, that would be almost too easy just to do something like that. So I figured I'd, I'd give it a very uh, more Jewish twist. So this is Jewish nachos. So instead of typical, you know, beans, cheese, this and that, we're doing more uh, Jewish cuisine. And in particular, this is going to be a salute to my favorite Jewish food, the Reuben sandwich. So uh, we've got, uh, we got pastrami, we got sauerkraut, we got Russian dressing, and we're going to add some jalapenos just to give it a bit of a kick. Uh, no Swiss cheese this time, we're trying to keep it somewhat kosher. Uh, I would argue that, you know, because the Aruban is such a sacred food of our people, that maybe that would be the one time we can eat meat and cheese, but I assure you that every rabbi, even the hippiest of rabbis, would disagree with me on that. So, I'm going to make some matzo chips now. Uh, the way you do that is, uh, should be self-explanatory, you're just going to break it up. Like, that's all it's going to be. And, uh, you know, the best part about this is that the chips are going to, uh, they're not going to be uniform looking, but it's actually kind of nice. It's nice that, like, you'll have one chip that's kind of like a strip and another that's like a weird hexagon-ish uh, thing, and it just makes it all more interesting. So I'm just going to rip up some chips right now. There are matzo crackers out there in the world. Uh, don't bother. You already have like 18 boxes of matzo in your in your kitchen. You might as well just use this up. It's about how do I use up all this stuff so I don't have any leftovers after Passover. Use as much meat as you want. You know, don't skimp. You're making this for friends and family, so you want a lot of it. So you're just gonna take you're gonna take your pastrami and you're just gonna slice it up. You know, kind of give it that kind of ground meat kind of look to it. You're just two basic jalapenos and you're just gonna cut them up. Uh, cut them kind of, cut them kind of, you know, small. Small, that's that's the term I'm using. Uh, tiny bits, make them small. Um, don't cut the way I'm doing. Uh, this is very dangerous and I'm just really lazy and don't wanna go get a better knife. So now what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna make a very quick Russian dressing. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take some ketchup and you're gonna take some mayo and then you're just gonna put those off to the side and just use Thousand Island dressing. Just, just use Thousand Island dressing, folks. Like, I'm sick of this, oh, it's fry sauce, it's Big Mac sauce, it's special sauce. No, it's, it's Thousand Island dressing. That's all it ever is, all right? So save yourself some time, get some Thousand Island dressing. You don't need to make a fresh Russian dressing. It's just Thousand Island dressing. Something that annoys me is when you go and get nachos and it's like this pile of chips and then there's this thin layer of stuff on top of it and that's it. Uh, we're not gonna do that. Again, as I said, don't skim. All right, you're not running a restaurant here. You're making this for friends and family. So what I like to do is I'll layer it. So you start with like a base layer and then you're gonna add stuff and then add more of the chips. So do at least, at least two layers, I think we'll do that, so. That's the real secret, is actually like all the rest of the, if we just had Thousand Island dressing and matzo, it probably would make a great meal too, but we're trying to pretend we're fancy. So, we all know deep down it's really just the best. So, next layer of chips, let's do this. Usually when you boil something, you know, it's really just about melting the cheese, or at least that's what all the cooking videos I watch say, okay? <laughs> I don't actually read the stuff, but uh, usually you're just waiting for the cheese to, to melt. We don't have any cheese, because this is kind of kosher. Or kosher or not, I don't know. Uh, so uh, because of that, how do you know it's done? Well, uh, what I did last time is, you know, when it's on a high heat and you're boiling it, like six minutes tops, matzo will burn quickly. And you actually, it is nice when it's a little burnt. You want to wait until it's like burning, but not burnt. So like when it's just starting to burn, that's when you pull it out. But it should be about six minutes. So you'll notice that uh, the Thousand Island actually kind of plays the role of the cheese. It kind of gives that melty look and then also actually help with the taste as well. 
Oh, you're doing the shot where it like then comes into focus? Nice. Put that on. If you have a family member that doesn't like sauerkraut, um don't 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 pay attention to them. There you go. Finished product. Mmm. That's delicious, man. This is uh, this is perfect if you're having company over for Passover. You know, you want to munch on something before the main meal, like just a nice plate of matzah nachos. It's great. The matzah's a little burnt, so it has an extra crunch to it. The pastrami's great. You got the jalapenos give it just like that nice heat as well. Mm. Mm, great. What it is, man. Nice uh, salute to the Reuben with a little bit of heat as well. Um, just right there. And again, the best part is all the chips are slightly different shaped. So just add it to the fun a little bit. Mm. That's good.